14 more modifications. Let's go. Part one of three. I wake up to a little bit of drool on my pillow, feel like it's gonna be a bad day. Yeah, I'm tired of shit, and the coffee ain't hit yet. Damn, ain't that great. I don't wanna go to work, cause my boss is a jerk, and I'm not even that pay. Number one added linen closet doors. The trailer came with a good sized linen closet, but there was no easy access to the right hand side or left hand side if you're in the closet. The dinette covered doors fit this space perfectly. To get them new from Forest River was pretty expensive, so we had some custom ordered. The first step was removing the offending panel. This panel proved to be just glued and stapled in place. With the oscillating saw, Beth made short work of removing this panel. With six hinges purchased from Lowe's, we mounted the doors in place. To finish up, Beth faux painted the trim pieces on the face frame. We filled in the old handle holes in the doors and added a trim piece of metal to cover up the original hinge holes. Now we have full access to the entire linen closet, and more specifically, we can open up the cupboard that has the toilet paper when you're sitting on the toilet. The new dinette cupboard doors needed painted, so Beth painted a scene from Anza Borrego. Number 2. Couch Foam Replacement The couch is held in place by four bolts. down the middle by little cable ties that are attached to something on there. I'm not sure what they are. I'll have to clip the table ties off to tell. It's a cutter. Center piece is just a plastic rod, wooden rod, wooden rod, and the zip ties were around it, around it through the fabric. And that fabric's just glued on. Right, and that's gonna need to stay on to keep the Yep. Preserve that and we'll need to cut another piece that matches that. Sneak comparison. Slightly wider. Slightly I don't know wider. If it's worth it to try to I don't think it's worth it to try to cut it. Try to put it in there because it seems This a one is loose. very compressible. And this one is not very compressible. So it should be more comfortable. Just fine. A bread knife worked very well to cut the foam. Beth quickly marked and cut out the rest of the pieces. She's a fast worker. This 
forgot to film, was we glued glued the backing, the black backing that was on the bottom of the foam, glued that onto the foam, and then we just glued the foam to the frame in the same orientation it was. Now we're going to glue the batting onto... I don't know if starting in the middle is the right thing to do, but... And that is 3M77 spray adhesive. Seems to be working pretty well. Seems to be working pretty well. I had to put down the camera and help zip it up because it was a tight fit. Right. Want to make it easier on yourselves, recommend using 4 inch foam, not 5 inch foam. First set. Oh, wow. How's that? Viva la difference. We added 5 inch foam instead Sorry of 4 inch foam, which eyes. was probably not the best idea because we struggled to get the cover back on. It's a little tight. It's a little tight, but. Uh, it set so much better. Oh my gosh. I don't think I would do 4 inch. I think I would do 5 inch again. It was a fight. But we'll see. If the seams will rip out, we'll know we should have done 4 inch. Yeah, we'll find out. He has it, the guy that doesn't have to sew. I Almost a year later, and the seams seem fine. Part 3. Add a shelf and a water dispenser. The shelf was purchased from Lowe's. The water dispenser was purchased from Walmart. We had to add extra brackets to support the weight. They were also purchased from Lowe's. We did have to trim an inch off the wall side to keep it from interfering with the folding countertop. We added two blocks of wood to the back side of the cabinet to help support the supports. We love this mod as we drink a lot of room temperature water. Warm. Clear water. Water. Step one. Thanks for watching. Gonna rise with the sun. Step two. Get some good, some food in you. Step three. You grow hard about what you wanna be. Step four. Everybody just do your thing. Wake up.